Hello and welcome to episode 13 of the Queer and Polyam series. Let's go see how our colonists are doing. Alright, so here we find ourselves back at the Queer and Polyam colony. Lots has been going on as we wrap up the end of summer. We have a bunch of refugees who have come to stay with us and lend us a hand and hopefully not betray us and turn on us. Uh, we had a guest, uh, some guests who are here that are heading off that have left some gifts. So thank you for that. Um, we also had some excitement with uh, Vaughn last episode. He came out to us as gay and asexual. And now that I have done the great gay experiment with the combination of the character editor and the psychology mod, I know what to do. Uh, we were having a dilemma previously because we can add asexual as a trait. Um, we could also add gay as a trait, but then he'd have more than three. So I think what I'll do for now, we figured this out. I'm going to add gay as a trait. And then once that gets reflected on his Kinsey rating, it should free up a spot. Because as we learned last week in the experiment, um, if you make a change with the character editor with regards to sexual orientation, it just gets reflected in the Kinsey rating. You can save and reload and it'll be like it ate up that trait and just moved it over here and he'll have a trait free. So I'm going to do the save and reload trick and then we should be able to add the asexual trait to Vaughn. Awesome! I'm so glad we figured that out. So as you can see, Vaughn's Kinsey scale is now up to five. And in the character editor, we only have two traits. So we can now add asexual here. Awesome, that was very cool. I hope everyone enjoyed the gay experiment video last week. I had lots of fun completing the experiment um, and it was nice to just have a very short video um, that I'd already recorded that I just had to do a little bit of editing and assembly uh, to get that out to you. Last week I was in the middle of all of my final assignments um, at the end of term so it was a very very hectic week. I hope anyone else who is in college or university or even high school if you've got projects or things going on I hope that is all that's all going well for you um, too because it's uh, it's tricky it's very very challenging um, I hadn't been back to school in, in quite some time about a decade and a half and uh, it's been it's been a big adjustment it's been a lot of work but it's also been really enjoyable to have classmates that you can hang out with and chat with and new people to get to know um, that part has been really fun. So we'll hang out uh, for a little while with the queer and poly community and we'll see how the episode goes. Hey cool, our drug lab has been researched so now we can get to making some drugs. Uh, I would also like to make a indoor growing area as we head into winter. Um, as we know from last winter, this area gets really, really, really super, super cold. So we do want to have a means of continuing to make food over the winter. And hopefully if we can afford to, we can also have a little bit of that space used for um, psychite and hops and that type of thing as well. Our other set of visitors are heading off. They didn't have as good of a time. Not sure why, is it just this one person? Uh, I think it's just this one person. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure why she didn't enjoy her stay. Yay! Our muffalo is pregnant, so we should have some baby muffalo soon. That'll be our first baby muffalo. And our second muffalo is pregnant as well. That's great. Two baby muffalos is awesome. Yay, we finished researching prosthetics. We can build another leg for Amelia, and then she can walk better than 50%, poor thing. Fall has begun. We had better get ready because we know it's gonna get really, really, really cold. The 
weather controller is no longer con changing the weather so we won't get the nice wind uh, blowing our wind turbines but that's okay we've saved up a whole bunch of power in our batteries um, and it will mean we get more sunshine which will help these plants finish growing so we can harvest everything up before it freezes and starts snowing yuck well, Goods Trader is here. Let's see what we can do to set ourselves up for the winter. Definitely ditch all of our old clothes. Crappy clothes. Alright, in exchange for the clothes and some odds and sods leather that we don't have very much of, I'm going to take 200 pemmican because hopefully we will be heading out onto the map uh, for the sake of our animals for the winter. And I'm going to dismiss them right away because for some reason they are in our food growing area. And I'm also going to make a new trade spot somewhere else on the map that uh, won't interfere with our food. Okay, animals can only graze for just less than a week up here. So we're going to have to find a spot for them for the winter soon. I'll show you a little trick that I use during the winter for animals. We've got a revenge. That's okay, Emerald can handle it. She's really great at stuff like that. Look at that, what a pro. Blitz and Vaughn are hard at work building heaters so that we'll stay warm during the winter. Oh, how exciting! We have new lovers! Okay, I'm gonna pause it here so you can guess who it is. I wonder if it will be a inter-refugee partnership or an intra-refugee partnership or what? Hmm. Okay, well, it's not gonna be Vaughn or A because they are both ace. I think most other people are candidates. We have some that are bi, some that are gay, some that are lesbian. Rose and M are already a couple. Um, Lyric is bi, and so is M. Rose is lesbian. Blitz is NB, uh, but yeah, likes women. Um, Mel is, oh, now I'm getting into the siblings that are not currently on our map. Amelia, that's who I'm looking for. Amelia is also a lesbian. Okay, let's see who it is. Oh, interesting. Okay, Blitz and Lyric are now lovers. How fascinating. Okay, very cool. We will see how that goes. Um, so Blitz and Lyric. So that's kind of our original four there. We have our original three. And then Blitz was our fourth person. They joined us not too long after we landed. How cool. Oh, look at that. And there they are. They've already, they've already set up shop as partners. Um, I didn't catch if they had already done that before I hit the new lovers, but that may have cut the guessing time uh, short if that had been the case. How cool. All right. Well, there we go. We've got two sets of couples. They'll keep each other warm for the winter. And A and, and Vaughn are ace. So unfortunately, that does leave out poor Emilia, who is already quite sad because of her ideal religion and because of her, her leg that was bitten off. Um, so let's at least get her a prosthetic and then um, hopefully she can be a little happier for the winter. Hmm. Uh, oh darn, we're getting a solar flare. That's why all of our soup is spoiling. That sucks. Ah, at least we have like tons of soup, but still, that's a bummer. Okay, solar flare. Hopefully it won't last too, too long. We also had a quest pop up. Hosting Fopla? I don't know quite how to pronounce that. I'm going to say fo Fopla. Um, I'm not even going to try with their first name. Holy cow. They're from the Dominion of God. They want to hide out for 18 days. Oh, they must be kept in bed. That's a lot of work. 
Ooh, love enhancer. How cool is this? Bionic implant. Physical and chemical changes enhance the experience of loving for both partners. Wow. Can adapt to enhance. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Also a hand talon. Razor sharp. Good for um, fighting. And plasteel. Those might be handy. Uh, 18 days. Wow, that's a lot of work looking after someone in bed. Uh, how long do we have to decide? We have six days to decide. I'm really going to try hard not to forget. Um, yeah. It'll remind me, thankfully. Oh, thank goodness the solar flare is ending already. That wasn't too, too bad. We did lose a lot of suit, though, unfortunately. Hey, cool! There's an election happening in Rainy Mountain Forest. This is a cute part of... I can't even remember what mod. Uh, I don't know why it jumped there. <laughs> uh, candidates. Yeah! So we have a couple candidates. I guess Rose and Blitz are both running for mayor. And then what we can do is whoever wins, uh, we can set them up with like a little office. Usually I have it like adjoining their bedroom. Put a little table in there to serve as a desk and then people can come and have meetings with the mayor to talk about um you know anything they want to improve in the colony it's quite cute i like it hey a party that sounds cool rose is throwing a party i added a party spot so that we wouldn't have any more parties in dark closets although i guess that worked in bonds favor he was allowed he was able to come out to people but yeah let's stick with like our nice dining room which is very impressive that's great we're almost done the floors we have a nice little statue here we've got some nice chairs uh looking good we'll add some more lights obviously but this will be kind of our main recreation and eating room Ooh, somebody's going on a date Bliss and Lyric have planned a date for the 7th of September. That's in a couple of days. Our election is still happening. People are getting to know the candidates and they will have a vote soon. Hmm. Oh, our refugees are heading off and they didn't betray us. Oh, phew. I am breathing a huge sigh of relief. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for visiting. Thanks for all the assistance. Now we can increase our guest beds. Hmm. Yeah, we had a betrayal reward to kill them, but I decided not to do that because I never do that. Also, they outnumber us. <laughs> Quest completed. All right, well, hopefully they will come back later and give us a gift or something in return for our, our generosity. Oh, we have a fire somewhere. Let's deal with that. Ooh, it's actually over here. Oh no, it's the hospital. Rose, why is that not in home area? What? Oh, it's because the walls were old and I didn't want my people spending all of their time repairing old walls. Okay, Rose, come and put it out before you get hot in there. Ooh, the hospital's already very hot. You know, someone uninstall this door so that nobody gets heat stroke. Oh, you don't even need to. They were so quick. And Amelia is so slow walking. <laughs> Poor thing. I would really like to make her a prosthetic leg, but we need five components for a machining table, and we do not have five components. Um, and we also really need a lot of components to make hydroponics for the winter for growing food. They need one component each. We have the steel, but I have scoured the map, and there is nary a component anywhere on it. So I think we may have to go out caravanning to try to um, trade for some, unless we get a trader sometime very soon. I would like to wait until after the election is over 
so hopefully they will get that voting taken care of soon. It's been two days. You already know each other very well. How much longer do you need to get to know the candidates? They're your friends. <laughs> They're your colony mates. I think you're good. Some of them are your are your couple, are your partners. There's two sets of couples here. And Blitz is one of the candidates. And who was the other one? Rose? So I think their spouses know who they're voting for. So it's really just A, Amelia, and Vaughn who need to make up their minds. We can even afford to give A a more comfortable room now instead of this horrible little... I mean, they seem to like being a slave, but still. It was a little awkward with the bathroom in between. Oh, are you going to bed for the night? No, not yet. It's 7 p.m. No, not that early. Um, let's try giving them a nicer uh, bedroom. We have another lightning strike. This one's outside, but it's not raining. So we should send some colonists out there, even if we have to wake them up. Save the plants, guys. We need all those hops, please. Well done. Good teamwork, guys. Come back. Well, I guess Rose can take care of the last two. There we go. Well done. All right. Now those hops can continue to grow. Although it's getting so cold already. Got minus three. It's barely into fall and it's already minus three. Hurry up and have your election, guys. We need to get on the road with the animals. Hey, our first baby muffalo is born. Ah, cutie pie. All right, what do we want to name you? Little Muffalo Calf. Let's call you... Let's call you Maggie. We can't type today, apparently. <laughs> hmm. We have another set of visitors. Oh, from this place again. All right, well, we'll improve our ally ships. That's the thing, like, even if we did go out to trade, um, our options are pretty slim. We need a higher title to trade at um, Foki, I guess I'm going to call it, um, because they're Dominion of God. So even though we're on friendly terms with them, we can't trade with them. They can only trade with us if they decide to come and, and trade. Um, we have Tasca, who is nice and nearby, so we'll probably stop by there first. But um, they're not very advanced. They are just a, a small uh, tribal, um, gentle tribe. So they are not going to have very advanced things. I hope they at least have components. Um, most of the other folks on the map are hostile, as you can see. The only one that's not is these Fataran. Fat? Farataran. Farataran, that's a very interesting name, um, people, but they we don't have anyone super close to us. If we went on to go all the way over here, up into the Free Shoulder Mountains, um, we could travel all the way to La Ville. Haha, <laughs> La Ville, the town in French. That's cute. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I guess what we'll try maybe is going here. If we can't get components there, um, maybe we can try over here. But yeah, that's a huge trip. And it's very north. So I think our animals are not going to be able to um, to forage for food for very long. Yeah, animals can graze. No. So it kind of dips up. If we take the road, it kind of dips up to the north. We would have to stay to the south, which might mean like customizing our route along the way. Or trying to travel, send someone without animals. Uh, it would be ideal if Tasca had components, just pop up there and then head on back, drop them off, and then continue somewhere south with the animals. Or we could get a merchant and uh, they could have components. Cross your fingers. Wow! Um, those fires have been very busy, but they are nowhere near our base. I've been keeping an eye on them. 
yeah, so let's hope these traders have some components for us. That would be really fab. We need five for the machining uh, bench, and then we need one per hydroponics bin. I'd really like to do at least a few of those. Thank goodness we don't need any for every heater, because I've been building a whole bunch of heaters for the winter. And we've already built our solar heater. It's too cold right now. It'll only be used in uh, higher temps. Yeah, I really don't know. Like, this is not very hot uh, in any of my other games. Even when it gets pretty chilly, uh, it's, it usually heats better than that with this amount of heaters. It's pretty bananas. Okay, let's have someone trade and we'll cross our fingers and toes that we get a component. Lyric, you're awake. So you're going to be the one to go retreat. Oh man, no, they don't have any. And are these guys the tribe? I think they are from a gentle tribe too, because they don't have anything very advanced. Yep, they just have some clothes. Ooh. Yeah, darn, okay. Well, we might have to send someone off um, election or not, because we got to get cracking. It's time. We can at least sell our ambrosia, sell off our crappy weapons, our old weapons and clothes, and maybe see what, if we can get anything good in return. Oh, we could sell some of our beer. Uh, we probably won't end up selling that much, though, because they don't have a lot of money, and we're going to sell all of our weapons. And I don't think we even really want anything in return. We shall see. They don't even have any good clothes. Like, I would have taken, like, a warm, you know, parka or something. But they just have kind of masks and head wraps and veils. Yeah, they really don't have anything good. Don't have any good weapons, really. A lot of stuff we can make ourselves. Okay, so we'll take the beer off the table. And we'll just take the amount of... Uh, of silver they're gonna give us and we'll leave it there look at that I emptied out two categories old stuff for sale crappy stuff for sale that includes clothes and weapons so that's great uh, one thing I will have in this room soon is the um, orbital trade beacon Another thing I need components for, um, as well as the comms console that goes with it, and then ironically we'll be able to, you know, trade a lot more often uh, with trade ships passing by. But we got to get the components to build the stuff before we can we can trade it. For now, I've had Blitz build a double bedroll because with two sets of couples, uh, I hate to split anyone up, and also it's a good idea to have two people going on caravan. Anyways, when you do send people on caravan in cases uh, where they get attacked on the road or anything like that happens. Uh, well, so much for deconstructing these and stealing all the stuff. I think I am going to have someone run down and um, grab at least some of these items before they all burn. Look what I found! I missed it earlier. There is a ship chunk! So I'll have Blitz come over here and deconstruct it. And we'll see if we can at least get a couple of components. That would be awesome. Look at the ridiculous route that Blitz has to take to get over to this ship chunk. He was over here deconstructing stuff that Emerald is now going to haul home. And he has to go all the way around here, across the river, up over here down to the ship chunk over here. I am never playing in a map with swamps ever again. They are such a hassle. Awesome, we got five components. That means we can make the machining table. Or we could wait and see how much the uh, comms console and the orbital trade beacon uh, are gonna give us. Okay, I think I've done a pretty good job of warming up the base. I've added a heater to the beer room so that this can stay at a nice temperature, not be ruined. Uh, one thing we'll have to do is add a heater up here 
for the hydroponics room so that we can grow some food at the proper temperature. But all the bedrooms are looking quite good. Might you want to add a small heater in the um, this room here, which we could use as an additional guest room. But yeah, it's uh, it's looking good. I must have missed when our second buffalo calf was born. We've got Maggie, so we're gonna name this one Maggie. I was planning on naming them that. Um, I guess it would have been a little bit strange to have a male buffalo calf named Maggie, but whatever. I wouldn't have let that get in the way. Ah, uh, yes, here's the reminder about hosting this person. I think I'm going to go ahead and accept. Um, as tempting as all this stuff is, I think I'm going to take the honor because Lyric uh, only has like very few points. She's only a yeoman. I would love for her to at least be an acolyte. Um, so I think I'm going to accept it uh, for the honor. And we have quite a few people that are good at medical stuff that even when we send a couple of them away on caravan, we will still be in, in good shape. Okay, and as A rescues Fopla, I am going to leave it here for this week. Um, I am planning that the next day, regardless of whether or not the election happens in the morning, we are going to get that caravan sent off. I would like to send Rose and Emerald since they have good animal and plant skill. And hopefully they can get us some more components and get our animals some food for the winter. I've got a little trick that I want to show you. All right, I hope everyone is having a good Easter weekend. Happy Easter if you celebrate Easter. Happy Passover if you celebrate uh, Passover. And also happy Ramadan. It's like a huge celebration of all sorts of different holidays uh, this week in April. So I hope everyone is having a week, a good weekend, enjoying some time with, with family if that's something you want to do, or enjoying some time doing whatever you would like to do if you've got the time off of school or work or what have you. I'm sending out queer mom hugs to everyone. And I hope to see you in the next episode, episode 14. Take care. Bye-bye.